Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss how to perform a remote pass-through to Wintech's built-in codices using Easy Access 2.0. To start, we we'll need to ensure that we have both Codesys version 3.5.1.3 and the latest version of Easy Access 2.0 installed. We'll also need to make sure that our HMI is connected to the internet and our Easy Access global server. It's important to remember that a Codesys activated HMI uses LAN 2 to connect to the internet. I've connected an Ethernet cable from our router to LAN 2. And so now let's check our network settings and easy access connection by selecting the orange disk in the top left corner of our HMI's display. With our settings menu open, I'll select the lock icon and enter the password for our settings menu, which by default is 111111. Now I'll select the Network tab and click Ethernet LAN 2. Right now I've configured my network settings to DHCP and also notice that I've enabled Codesys login. We'll discuss this feature in a few minutes. With my network configuration valid, I'll scroll down the left side and select the Easy Access 2.0 tab. Within this section, I'll select Easy Access 2.0 Connection and ensure that our Easy Access state is connected. If the Easy Access state on your HMI says Disconnected, you'll need to select the Start button to attempt connection. I'd like to note that the HMI that I'm using within my project today has been added to my Easy Access domain. If the HMI within your application has not yet been added to your domain, you'll need to do this prior to performing a remote pass-through. I've placed links to two separate tutorials within the description below that will guide you through this process. With our software installed and the HMI active on our domain, we're ready to perform a Codesys pass-through. To begin, I'll log in to an Easy Access account that has access to my Codesys activated CMT. Once open, you'll notice that our HMI is online. And so let's select the inward facing arrows to log in to our device. Once connected, we'll select Pass Through next to the red icon, and our Pass Through menu will open. Here we'll configure the Codesys internal IP within our IP1 entry box. This is 10.255.255.2. And once finished, we'll select Set, and then click the X in the top right corner. Now within my Codesys application, I'm going to double click Device within our device tree. And under the target PLC on the right side, I'll enter the internal IP address for Codesys, 10.255.255.2. And then I'll click Enter. And with our green dot, we've now successfully connected to our built-in Codesys application. And with that, I'd like to mention that the Codesys gateway installed with version 3.5.10.30 may occasionally experience issues when attempting to connect with our Codesys equipped HMIs through pass-through. When this occurs, our support team recommends that you update your gateway application to a later version. For example, the Codesys gateway installed on my PC is version 3.5.16.40. This update should resolve communication issues and ensure a stable connection. Earlier, I also mentioned that I would discuss our Codesys login feature. When enabled, it will allow us to connect to our Codesys application through LAN 2 on our HMI. What this means is that within the Codesys IDE, we can enter the LAN 2 IP to connect to our built-in Codesys application. Or, when using Easy Access, we can enter the virtual IP found within the Easy Access application and enter this below the target PLC on the right hand side of our device tab. 
Now that I've finished making the necessary changes to my Codasys application, let's make sure I disconnect from my device and sever our connection using the recommended steps. To do this, I'm going to select File in the top left corner of our Codasys IDE and click Close Project. After which, I'll select File once more and click Exit. Now back within my Easy Access application, I'll select the outward facing arrows to log out from my device. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.